Good day to all my favorite Pokemon fans out there in the world. If you're wondering if you can play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl into your PC, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you. Because in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you where to get Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, how to optimize it, and how to play it into your PC. So, what you need is to have user emulator installed into your PC. Uh, for those who do not know, user emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play any Nintendo Switch games as long as you have all of these files here installed into your user emulator. So once you have all these files, then your user emulator will be fully capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games. As you can see here, I have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and I have Pokemon Shining Pearl. And I'm going to show you where to get user emulator first. In order to get user emulator, just type in user emulator in the web browser and then you will be redirected here. The useemu.org is their official website. Click on that and then go click on the download button here. The next step is go to download for Windows 64 version. If you're using Windows and if you're using Linux, you can also download it here. Just click on this icon here. So. I am using the latest version of Windows and I am able to play any Nintendo Switch games, okay? So, uh, first of all, I'm just gonna skip on this part because I have already installed a user emulator and the installation process, no process is really easy to do and anyone can do that. So, first of all, if this is your first boot up of user emulator, then there will be some issues regarding user emulator and have some errors error message because your user emulator does not have these files yet installed into your user emulator. So in order to, uh, I mean, what you're wondering, what are these files? Uh, these files are the Nintendo Switch keys itself and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Uh, this is the version 15 and it's the latest version and it can play all the previous and the latest games that are out now. So. You should have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl 2 in XCI or NSP file format. And if you're wondering where you can get all these files, then legally speaking, you can only get all of these files through a modded Nintendo Switch console. So you should have a Switch and have a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware, then you can access your Nintendo Switch uh, system files. And once you have access on that, you can just copy all of the keys and firmware files into your PC. And in order to get Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you should um, legally own the game. You should purchase it and digitally back it up into your modded Nintendo Switch console into an XEI file format. And in this video tutorial, I'm currently using an XEI file. So just uh, if you uh, don't know where to get all these files, um because you don't own a switch or if you have a switch but don't know how to do all the things that i've said then i'm just gonna save you the hassle and teach you where to get all these files so i'm just gonna leave a qr code here just scan it into your qr code reader into your mobile phone and then you will be redirected to the download page wherein you can get all of these files so go to the website and then hover down to the middle part of the page and you can get Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl in XCI file format. Then once you have downloaded that file, go back and go to the bottom part of the page so that you can get the keys and firmware files. So I'm going to assume now that you have already downloaded all of that files into your PC. So it's time to uh, uh, install them into your user emulator. So go to file, go to open user folder, and then go to keys folder and then go to this keys file here click on that just drag and drop that files into this system folder here if this is your first installation then this folder should be empty and then just close on that folder then go to file go to open user folder and then go to a uh, NAND folder and then go to system folder and contents then go to registered folder then open the firmware file and just select all of these files here and just paste it in this folder. Uh, these are all the, the switch firmware files. So you need to have all these files installed into your user so that your user emulator can be able, will 
will detect all the Nintendo Switch games to your PC. So I'm just going to close on that. And now your user emulator is now fully capable of booting up and loading Nintendo Switch games. So what's the next step? The next step is to optimize Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into your user emulator so that you can run the game with no issues or graphical issues at all. So in order to do that, just click on the game and then go to properties and then just pause the video and copy my settings. So here in the general tab, these are my settings. So just copy it. Um, these settings are specific to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay, so be sure to copy that settings in the system full in the system tab. This is my settings. In the CPU tab, it is set to auto. In the graphics tab, it is set to Vulcan and the graphics card that I am using. So be sure to pause the video and copy my settings here so that the game will look much better than the Nintendo Switch itself and it will run much smoother. In the advanced graphics tab, this is my settings. In the auto tab, this is my settings too. So just pause the video, copy my settings and hit OK. Now, if you have a controller such as a Nintendo Switch Pro controller or an Xbox or, or a PlayStation controller, just head to emulation, configure and connect your controller here so that you can control the game with your controller. It's much better that way than the, key than the keyboards. So do that and map it up here and hit OK. A little bit of disclaimer, I'm not going to show you guys a gameplay of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't want people to see it in YouTube. So they will just uh, ban uh, those channels that use this kind of content and they will just delete your content and you will be banned for life on YouTube. So I'm just not going to do that so that my channel will be safe from being taken down. So, but today I am willing to show you to you guys that we can boot up the game into the title screen. And I'm going to do that, show you that the game will boot up into the screen with no issues and it runs 30 FPS. But I'm just going to blur the screen here so that Nintendo will not be able to detect uh, the game. And then I will not be hit by any copyright strike issues. Okay. So as you can see, I have not installed any mods or any enhancements of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, but the game runs perfectly well as it is. So here is a title screen and I'm just going to stop the emulation app. So. If you have followed all the steps that I've shown to you guys, then you'll be able to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl without any issues at all. And also all of the previous uh, Nintendo Switch games into your PC. So if you have some questions regarding on the installation process of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. So if you, so please do subscribe to my channel so that my channel will grow and it will help me a lot. So thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.